Blogs by Rabbit TV, welcome back guys, episode 3.2, we, we've discussed the forwards, we're now moving on to the backs, and do you start it off? There's, the, the back selections on the whole pretty good, um, there's one or two vaulters, first guy I'm a little bit on the fence about, not a bad player, not, not, you know, don't know if it will be my first choice, is uh, Heine Adams. It's not the Bulls first choice majority of the time either. No, no, he's also another second string player that's all of a sudden in the book squad. And um but I mean look, he, he really he isn't a bad player. He's pretty solid. He can hold his own. I just don't think it'll be my first choice. If I had to choose it it would be Sarah Pretorius from the Green yeah, yeah, I agree. He's had a good season, he's done very well and he's shown that he can make that step up. And based on Curry Cup, how we've been told the selection has been chosen, he is the better player. Yeah, definitely has shown the form. Um, another guy while we're keeping on the scrummies is Franz Hohart. Yeah. Pretty solid selection there, I'd say. Um, Very versatile, often used as a utility back, but I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing, but I mean, you have the concern that we don't want to mould players as a utility back, and we'd rather specialise them in one position. I completely agree with that, but he should be there. I, 100%. Definitely has had a has had a good season, and uh, you know, I wouldn't cap him right away, but identify him as a player of the future, take him to the next World Cup, and I think the whole idea is to get him into that winning atmosphere now, into, into the into the book cap uh, yeah. camp, see how the things work, and you know, take take him into that sort of atmosphere. I think that's, that's definitely he's, a good one. He's a nice he's a nice guy to watch. I think he's he's got a little bit of an attitude at the scrum there, and I think it's he's an enjoyable guy. Yeah, he's got this. Yeah, so he's he's a winner for us. Also, he, he's incredibly strong for his size. I mean, you remember that try against the Greek where yeah. he just picked the ball up, broke it about three or four tackles, went over for the try. Immense strength. Definitely a guy to watch out for. And then, I mean, we can chat about other guys, but at the fullback spot. Oh, this is something that I've definitely avoided talking about for a reason, and it's all rose. And the reason I've avoided talking about him is because I just don't think his selection is justified. I don't think that he deserves the hype that is yeah. floating around him at the moment. There are players out there who have performed above him this season and I don't understand why it's shown. Really yeah. don't. He's been given chances. He has been given chances, but... Yeah, I mean, look, he went, he went on last year's interview tour and he played for the Emerging box. Mm. Um, you know, Peter Villiers has always said, you know, he's got this X factor thing about him, just give him a chance, give him a chance. But all has been in the setup since he was 16 years old. We've seen him yeah. play at school boy level, we've seen him play under 19. He was good at under 19, but you know, this is senior rugby. He doesn't years. even weigh 80 kgs. He hasn't made that step up. He's had about three or four or five years maybe in senior rugby already, and he just hasn't done anything. His consistency is what, like a 20 80 split, and that's just not good enough. We went to go watch the the emerging um, the emerging box when they were playing against British and Irish Lions. Where Newlands were sitting there surrounded by these Lions fans, and these guys were singing all their English songs and going off. And eventually they started chanting for Earl Rose as well because it was just gifting points away. Yeah, no, it's it, I. <sighs> I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Not a justified selection. Yeah. Earl doesn't deserve to be there. He's been given his chances. He hasn't used it. And I think a guy like Joe Peterson can feel very, very hard done by. Yeah, definitely. There's, there's also players who are left out of the mix who have done well, who haven't been there. The way for, for Chivas, Mr. Dimas. I think, I think that guy's quality. I think he's had an excellent carry cup season. And I think, I think he needs to be there. But, okay, but... Now the selections are done, right? You've got a 2017 split. Who would you put Dimas in for? You'd have to take somebody out. Just so, so I, I, I mean, he, I think he needs to be there. You could look at maybe Odwa. That would be my choice, I guess. Odwa is not fast enough for an international win. He's also been given his chances. Mm. Didn't play well in the Tri-Nations when he came in for, for JP. And, um, you know, Demas has the pace, he does have the pace, and he's got that added, that added left boot of his. Yeah. Um, for me, another good selection is a young guy coming in is John de Jong from Providence. Oh, quality. He definitely had a very good season, and, um, you know, he's taken his chance, he's stepped up. He, he, you know, he has injury plagued early on in he his, was. In his career. It's good to see that he's selected now, and, you know, there's no injuries. 
Cross fingers. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, the, he's, he's the kind of guy, he's not the biggest center in the world, and that's maybe his, his downfall at times. But he does, you know, he does take his chances whenever he gets them. And, you know, what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for it. Yeah, it's an attitude. Skill and pace. All of that. I guess that... that no, much well, one more thing for me is just... Um, or two, actually. Lionel McCoe got left out. Okay, that's, yeah. that's a big one. That's a big one. For the cheaters. Lionel McCoe got left out. And this guy is a talent for the future. He's 21. He's got all the pace in the world. You know, he's bursting onto the scene like a bandit did in his early days. And this is a guy that we need to snap up now and cap in. Yeah. And the kind of guy who should be playing in the touring side against European clubs. Definitely, definitely get him into that, into that thing. This is a guy we need to take to the next World Cup. Um, lastly, last selection I'd like to talk about is Rat Yun from the Greek list. Yeah, also excellent player. I mean, massive boot. Massive boot. We've seen him put over 65, 66 meter penalties and drop goals. Um, one thing for me, he hasn't played Super 14 yet. I'd like to see but him. I don't, I don't think players necessarily have to play Super 14 to be chosen for the European club games. But, I mean, these are the these are the talent, these are the emerging guys in South Africa. Maybe next year they'll get the Super 14 game. Uh, I definitely want to see how he fares. I mean, look, I, I wouldn't be capping this guy. But um, yeah. I think he's, you know, I think he's been identified as for the future. He does have, he does have that boot, which you know can win games for you. But um, I, I'd just like to see him play some Super Fourteen. Definitely, the guys to look out for we've mentioned, and that's pretty much it for the backs. Let's wait and see what happens Friday evening when we take on Leicester Tigers. They are, after all, European champs. So I don't think it's going to be an easy game at all. And let's see what happens, eh? Cheers. Cheers, guys.